but it does keep you out of the wind a lot better. There's one behind it. Did she drop off or what? She just never made it to the boat. So Scott, I actually had Scott Valeski fish with, uh, here's one. There she is. Come on. She just missed it. Yeah, she tried, right? Yeah, she tried to swipe at it. She just kind of yeah. tried to nip at the side. That's the one you had follow. You think that's the same fish? Yeah, I think so. Throw back here once. Let's have you throw, hold on. I'll try something a little different on her. She liked this, but she wasn't all in on it. You gotta fish slow. Quick. Hear that? Dump, dump, yep. dump, dump. What's like, that bait called? This is a creeper. See how slow I'm reeling? Mm -hmm. You gotta fish it really slow. And you gotta do your figure eights on top. You can't take it subsurface. No, nope, they'll follow it. On that one you really can't do anything with as far as changing your speed, you just gotta you can move your rod tip back and forth a little bit, a little faster, and keep your rod a little lower to the water. There she's behind it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's still under it. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I don't see her, just keep going. Okay, pull it out. Switch me your rods. Okay. Toss that out there. No, it's the same fish. There's one. Yeah. The blonde one way behind it. Like a three footer, but it was white as a ghost. Got one? Nice. Pressure on her. Nice fish. Right up trolling away. Nice job, buddy. <laughs> Baby steps, right? Thanks, man. <laughs> nice work. First, musky. Yeah. Give me yeah. some more on that, brother. First, first on purpose. <laughs> I like it. That was a freaking blur, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it happens so fast, doesn't it? The nice thing is, by the time I knew I had something, I felt the weight, you know, so it, it, it kind of took away the, um, you know, having to wait, you know, trying to set the hook too soon. Sure. Like it wasn't really possible because it happened so fast. She just yeah. ate it. Yeah, and then I heard just, it. Like, just natural reaction, just let her rip. Nice. Cool. Well, guys, this is uh, my customer Jeff here, and this is his first muskie actually targeting him. So really cool. He got a hold of me this last fall. Got him out, he's up here for three days with me, and I think he's gonna do the muskie school next year. Don't tell his wife. Um, but uh, <laughs> this won't be out for a while, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> She'll understand. Yeah, but uh, really cool experience, got it on top water. We've had a pretty eventful day. Uh, it's kind of just been building and building and building. We are talking about baby steps. We've seen a lot of fish this morning, uh, and then I ended up losing one. We had a close call earlier in the morning, and now this one just ate. Uh, just coming around a nice uh, rock point here some nice boulders on it. I've caught a fish here in the past and I haven't caught one on this side of the point so that's kind of cool. Uh, we were going to fish down to this beach and we'll continue to do that but let's pull her out quick, show her to the camera and put her back. Nice fish. 
Nice job, buddy. Super thick, awesome fish. Throw her back. Lost her. You didn't lose her, she just took off. Okay. <laughs> I was expecting her to float there for a second. No, she was good to go. All right. Nice work, man. Thanks, buddy. Well, yeah, looks like a great spot to catch a big one. Here's one. Blondie. Oh, no, like 42. Not bad, but there she is again. That's a different one. That's a bigger one. Problem with those blonde pelagic fish and sometimes when they follow a bait out you pull them off the structure and then they just go out into the abyss why are they so light open water they're not uh shallow they're deep water fish all the time yep yeah your rock fish are more dark your resident rock fish or your weed fish a darker back those big blondes are just open water pelagic roamers You see the other one right behind her? No. Dude, they were both right behind you. <laughs> there was freaking two of them. Those are both the fish. Okay, hold this. I gotta what the get frick her. Just I gotta get her head in the water. They were both like both fish were right there. I turned around, you hooked the one, and the other one was swimming right behind it. I swear to God. You caught the smaller one. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Just wondering where these fish went. They just slid down a little bit. They're the same ones. There you go. Second muskie ever. Musky fishing. <laughs> Second musky of the day. 42 incher. I don't know if you guys are able to see it or not, but there was two fish following his bait, and this one ate it, and the other one was just literally swimming behind it. It was crazy. I hope I was able to get it on the GoPro. But uh, what do you think, man? It's been an incredible day, bud. <laughs> Nice, well we still got some time. It's just raining, another topwater fish. Let's put it back. There we go. Nice release. Just need a little more time. Yeah, all good. All right, I have more <laughs> well, Would you say your favorite musky bait is a topwater? Pretty safe bet today, <laughs> no question. Good nice job, buddy. Thanks, man. There's one. Still there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they definitely want top water. <laughs> Took us all day to figure it out, but we got two top waters running now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I went to Denver back in April for some training and some shit. And my full time guy had just started. And the fucking phone started ringing and it didn't stop. Got her. <clears throat> ah. Oh shit, that happened fast. <laughs> yeah, 40 incher. <sighs> Told you it was going to happen. Well, you weren't casting, but. <laughs> <laughs>